and welcome to Tallinn, Estonia's capital city. It's a small port city on the Baltic Sea and the center of activity for a country that's been making leaps and bounds on the global stage in recent years. I'm on a journey to really discover Estonia. So what better place to start than its beating heart? Tallinn is where the old world meets the new. Here you'll find one of the best preserved medieval cities in Northern Europe, right next door to one of the continent's most digitally advanced urban centers. Walking through Tallinn, you can feel the um, different uh, layers that uh, history has left for us. Basically, within 100 yards, you're able to come from the medieval cobblestone streets into the modern high-tech environment. So uh, walking down the street, you might not be surprised when you see a medieval house uh, next to Baroque. And um, it is basically like a little trip through time. Today, Estonia is one of the most digitally advanced societies in the world. It's also the startup capital of Europe, with four times more startups per capita than the European average. Tallinn even has these cute little robots that will drive around downtown delivering everything from groceries to online shopping to fully cooked meals. The city really likes its tech, but how easy is it to unplug? Lucky enough, Tallinn is surrounded by nature. Estonia is covered in forests and wetlands. We're going into the wild to discover one of the country's most ancient landscapes, its bogs. There's no better person to guide us than Romet Vino. He's an Estonian nature photographer who spends most of his free time outdoors. He also organizes trips to many of the bogs around Tallinn. Romet, tell me what is so special about Estonia's bogs? Well, I would say the first reason is that if you think of something primeval, something ancient, then the bog is definitely the place to be. The oldest bogs in Estonia are somewhere around like 10,000 to 12,000 years old. Well, it's time to gear up and get bog walking. These bog shoes will keep us from sinking into the peat moss. <laughs> okay. It's not as easy as you make it look. <laughs> I feel like a duck. <laughs> Actually, this name, uh, Kakerdaja Raba, uh, this uh, Kakerdaja, the name is given by one specific bird who's a water bird, but it, it's really clumsy on, the, on walking uh, <laughs> on the ground. So like me. <laughs> and uh, this word Kakerdaja <laughs> means uh, either an animal or a person who's very clumsy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I am the yeah. Kakerdaja. You this, are the uh... Kakerdaja. <laughs> in this situation. Yeah. Is it common for Estonians who live in the city to come out and just get some, some air? Yeah, it has become uh, like very, very popular in the recent years. Like 10 to 15 years ago, it uh, was rather surprising to see people uh, coming, for example, for, for a swim uh, to the bog in the morning. But now it's almost like a rule. Uh, in the middle of summer, when people have vacations, it's um, very common that you would come here like four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. You would see like maybe <laughs> like five to ten people uh, swimming over here. Yeah. Romet convinced me to try this sunrise swim. So we set up camp near the bog to wake up early. Estonia's forest ministry maintains hundreds of free campsites like this one, with tables and toilets and complimentary firewood for cooking and keeping warm. Sunrise is at 4 a.m. tomorrow, so it's gonna be a short night. We're gonna go to bed. It was a rude awakening. We walked in silence towards the bog. So I was regretting every single decision I made this morning. Uh, I hardly slept. I put my jacket on inside out. I was so tired. But then I saw that sunrise and it was so stunning. The colors were beautiful and it really felt like one of those once in a lifetime types of moments. Um, I'm still very nervous about this though. <laughs> so can you tell me, do you have any tips for for how I can get into this water and not freak out? Yeah, uh, well, there is no best way to do it. Uh, it really depends on you. Just take like deep breath. The, the idea is not to kind of stop yourself. Just uh, try to keep the process just going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here goes. Uh, if I survive this, we'll see you next time on Discover Estonia. Thank you so much for watching. Oh no.